Good morning, everyone. The question is asked, what's the connection between Yom Kippur and Sukkot? Why is it that four days after Yom Kippur, we celebrate Sukkot? And this question is especially relevant because the truth is that Sukkot should follow the holiday of Passover. Because Passover is when God took us out of Egypt, and then He took us into the desert, and He protected us with His clouds of glory, gave us divine protection in the desert, and therefore we eat in the Sukkot to remember the divine protection in the wilderness for 40 years. So therefore, logically, the holiday of Sukkot should follow the holiday of Pesach. But yet, we don't do it right after Passover, we do it some six months later after Yom Kippur. So there must be a special connection between Yom Kippur and Sukkot. And one of the answers given is that Yom Kippur is when we strip away the outer layers, we peel away the layers of the onion, and we reveal our soul, our divine soul that God blew into the nostrils of Adam and made him into a living human being. During the year, we're focused more on our physical bodily needs. But for one day a year, we become like the angels. We don't eat, we don't drink, we reject all of the physical pleasures and we focus exclusively and solely on our soul, on our divine spiritual essence. And when it comes to the level of the soul, we're all one and the same. It's only our physical attributes and our material uh, status that divides one from the other. But when we look at our divine soul, we're all a part of God and God is a part of us. And therefore we all have one Father in heaven and we're all truly one. And therefore once we revealed that deeper dimension of who we truly are, our essence, we're now ready to celebrate what is known as the holiday of joy. Why? Because true joy comes from recognizing that there's one part of you that is pure and indestructible. There's one part of you that is non-negotiable and that is one with every other human being and with God. And that's why the holiday of Sukkot is the time of our joy and our unity. As our rabbis say, that all of the Jewish people can dwell in one sukkah. We can't all put on one pair of tefillin or light one Shabbos candle or put up one mezuzah, but we could all sit in one sukkah. And not only that, while other mitzvot are done with one part of the body or the other, or multiple parts, the mind, the heart, the hands, the legs, when you walk into a sukkah, your whole being is enveloped. From your head down to your toes, it's all enveloped in the sukkah. And therefore, the sukkah represents the unity of the Jewish people. And the four species represents four different types of Jews that have to be all united as one. And therefore, the holiday of Sukkot follows Yom Kippur because the theme is one. And that is to recognize who we truly are at our core and therefore unite with our fellow Jews and our fellow man. Something happened at Palm Beach Synagogue this year, Yom Kippur, that was really special. We have a wonderful program called Project Connect, where we have special needs children who come to the synagogue and have special programs on an ongoing basis. But one of those kids is a lovely teenager, 16 years old, his name is Ethan. Adorable, lovable young man. And we honored him on Yom Kippur with an aliyah at the Torah. And he came up, he was beaming, the synagogue was packed full to capacity, overflowing into the back room. It wasn't an inch of space, 400 people. And this young boy gets up to the Torah on Yom Kippur. And with his a beautiful, radiant smile, first thing he does is he turns around to the whole congregation and starts waving at everyone. And he immediately captured everyone's heart. And then he made the blessings over the Torah. And everyone gave such a resounding Amen. I never heard such a loud Amen with so much fervor and love like after his blessings. And then after the Torah section that was read, he said the blessing afterwards. And not only did everyone give a resounding Amen, but everyone started to spontaneously applaud him as he was radiant and smiling. And people were so moved and loved it so much that one person told me that that was the highlight of their Yom Kippur. And yesterday another member called the synagogue and said, I want to make an $1,800 donation in honor of Ethan and his Aliyah. And I thought to myself, 
why is it that it brought so much joy to everyone in the congregation, myself included, watching this young boy get called to the Torah? That's because on Yom Kippur we realize whatever our external facade or differences are, we're really all one and the same. We're all one connected people. And when we are inclusive and we welcome everyone, like the four species, and we unite with everyone, we realize that there's nothing that divides us. There's nothing that separates us. We're really one loving, connected, interconnected people, all created in the image of the same one God. And that's what the holiday of Sukkot is. It's the holiday of inclusiveness, of unity, of oneness. And that oneness and unity and inclusiveness with each other and with God brings the greatest joy. Chag Sameach.